All right, hello everyone. This is Mr. Shanman here with another episode of A Shadow Over Freddy's. Last time, I was able to find two plushies, which I'm assuming lead to a different ending. So I'm probably gonna have to play this game twice, depending on if I find all the plushies or not. But I'm still gonna have to play it twice anyway, because yeah, anyway. Whatever. Point is, we found the Freddy and Bonnie plushie. I had trouble with Bonnie's mechanic. The puppet's telling us a cool story that I'm assuming is William's backstory for finding out how to how when he kills things they possess objects, is my assumption. Anyway, we're going to continue to night three. Alright, what instructions do we get this night? I hate the cupcake. It's creepy. Don't stand still. Enemies will move into your room if you take too long hiding next to you. If a shadow is in the same room as you, it'll wait for you to move before attacking. Find it and scare it away before you proceed. Okay, so that's probably it. I probably was too slow last time, and that's why they would show up in the same room. Okay. Oh, boy. A new presence has appeared in the restaurant. It moves slower, but it is harder to detect. Be patient while leaning over into other rooms. Ah, yes, be patient, but also be fast. This is great. I'm assuming it's Chica. And because it's Chica, I'm guessing her plushie is going to be in the kitchen, if I can even go in there. Enter the kitchen. Okay, never mind. I'm going to try to find her plushie first. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was easy. Bruh. We need a key, but the question is where that is. Because the kitchen's right here. Yeah, okay. It's probably in the worker's office. Yeah, no, not going that way. Not that way. I might have gone in a big circle. I don't know for sure. Crap, I did. going in here. I'm assuming the key is in here. It would make sense. Or in the backstage. Either way. One of those would make sense. They're both here, so. Keys. Nothing at Pirate's Cove. Not gonna like when Foxy shows up, that's gonna be a huge pain. Hi Chica, go away, go away. Okay. Fine, go, go. Charlie, Charlie, save me. Okay, yeah, Charlie's here. Yep, she's appearing here, I think. Maybe? Should be somewhere. Just looks like that's where she would be. Okay, well, don't see her, but it's fine. Didn't die, and I got the plushie. Was very close with that chica though. <laughs> You're pulled back to safety as the room fades away around you. The shadow offers yet another story from your past. Okay, yeah, our past. We better not be William. 
I mean, it's fine if we are, obviously. It's just, if so, we're screwed either way. Hey, we can actually see a good portion of your face now. This is a true story that I tell to you. I hope you're taking notes for the quiz at the end. There once was a young man who had grown hungry for knowledge. Growing into an adolescence, he had isolated himself from his family, focusing instead on his passion for the unknown, the spiritual, a place of mystery he had come to know years ago. In a box under his bed, he hid his secret away from all others, his living plastic friend still thrashing and writhing inside. Every night, he observed his movements intently. The young man spent entire days away from home, reading and studying about spirits and vessels. His interest turned into obsession, and his need to understand grew. Alas, it was all for naught, as no book had the key to the answers he'd been seeking. All he found were vague rumors and legends with no instructions or explanations. To continue down the rabbit hole, he knew what had to be done. Since he was a kid, the young man never saw his dad as anything more than an obstacle. He was a moody, aggressive, old alcoholic who only talked to his son when he needed something to shout at. Having driven everyone that loved him away, the drunkard was worth less than nothing in the eyes of the boy. Thus, he was the perfect candidate. One day, when coming home, seeing the old man sprawled out onto the kitchen table with a bottle on hand, he decided to show his dear old daddy a new way of life. Holding a small felt doll in his right hand, the teen made his way to the house's garage. After a few hours, the deed was done, and the plan was in action. The boy watched his oblivious father drive away in his car, unaware of the tampering that had been done to the vehicle. Sitting on his bed, the young man took his dear pet out of the box and began to press harshly on its square plastic head as it trembled in pain, he waited on the outcome of his small experiment. Is that it? Oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> oh, the humanity. After the car's accident, he recovered the doll that had been planted below the seat and returned to his home. Placing it on his desk, he watched it closely for the same spark that reanimated inside his robotic friend. But much to his frustration, no movement came from the doll. Nothing! The vessel he had prepared for his father was empty, devoid of even a single remnant of life. Eh, remnant. Furious by his failure, he ripped the felt doll apart and threw it aside. What a waste. From then on, he was free of the shackles of his drunken caretaker. But without the trophy he had planned to take from his, mon his monstrous act of sabotage, Unflinching in his resolve and with no guilt in his empty heart, he contemplated what to do next. Great, we're playing as a psychopath, whether we're William or not. I was kidding when I said there was to be a quiz, by the way. Not that it matters. Or that you deserve it. Why is Charlie helping us? I mean, clearly she's going to kill us by the end of the game, right? Two nights remaining. Assuming Foxy is now out. Uh oh. Red Bear is going to be on the last one, isn't he? A new presence has appeared in the restaurant. It sleeps inside Pirate's Cove. Check behind the curtains frequently, or it'll escape and chase you relentlessly. Oh, great. Oh, no. Hey, it'd be nice if the Foxy plush was just, you know, like, right right out here like the Chica one was. That'd be cool. 
collect the pieces. Foxy? No, Foxy. Oh, we're putting together a Freddy plush. But I already have one. Okay. I'm going to find that plush. I don't want to... I want to have to find the plushies again. Hey, Bonnie. See, I originally thought it was Mangle because this Bonnie has top teeth and normal Bonnie doesn't. Foxy plushy. Dang, okay. Maybe this one's... in here. I don't care if Foxy kills me on this. I just want to find where the plushie is. So that we... It is there. Okay, cool. I'm just going to assume that one of the parts is going to be on the stage. Because that would make sense. Party. Jesus freaking Christ. I'm gonna call the plot twist in this game and that this is all in William's mind after he dies. Similar to an ultimate custom night kind of thing, but like different. This one's here to like constantly remind him of what he's done instead of just torturing him for what he's done. It's my guess. I knew it. Yeah, I don't like that noise. But okay. Awesome, so there's someone out there. And they're totally gonna come into this room and kill me. It's not like I have anywhere to go. Okay, cool. Yep, okay. That was cool. <laughs> like that. Oh, frick, I didn't listen. Cool. <laughs> yeah, okay, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Ah, I knew it. I thought that was a lamp for a second. Okay, good.
It's 4 a.m. <laughs> Freddy's totally killing me. The one place I want to look, Bonnie's at, and he won't leave. <laughs> yep, okay. There's a head. Also, I think that was a Golden Freddy head. Go away, Chica. Foxy. Foxy has the last piece. Oh, hi, Charlie. I wasn't expecting you to just show up in my face like that. Dang, that, that was a good run there. Time to unlock more of William's backstory. Here we go. I'm just assuming we're William at this point. You are pulled back to safety, away from the monsters lurking in the abandoned restaurant. And the shadow offers one more story to clear away the fog inside your mind. Will you accept? Yes. Hi, Charlie. There once was a sick, twisted monster who stalked its victims from the shadows. Its heart far gone from its body, and putrid parasitic- oh, this putrid parasitic individual lived for the hunt, to capture and corrupt the weak, all for the sake of satisfying its disgusting pleasures. Tonight was no different. It is Charlie, okay. Amidst the rain, this vile vampire of society spotted a young girl left outside the entrance to a family restaurant. She looked in from a window as other kids inside had fun and celebrated without her. The monster approached the girl from behind, its body trembling in anticipation to savor the perfect opportunity that had been laid out in front of it. Maybe, if some humanity was still lingering inside, if some shred of dignity had remained in its hollow heart, it would have felt pity for her. Maybe it could have sympathized with her situation. It stood still, inches away from her, its hands reaching out for her back, the sounds of its breathing masked by the downpour surrounding them. The child felt a chill down her spine. She saw its eyes looking at her in the reflection of the glass. She slowly turned around to see the figure towering over her. Ugh. Okay, I don't need to hear all the- Poor Charlie. You. You rotten, ignorant, heartless creature. You left that innocent little girl in that alley to die a cold, lonesome death. Your hands were tinted red with her blood, colorless in your empty eyes, and you felt nothing but satisfaction from taking her life. And for what? You don't remember? We all know that's not true. These meetings have been merely a formality. If it were up to me, I would have left you alone to be torn apart by your captors, limb by limb. Just like re just like you tore the life away from her that night, tossing her into the trash after capturing the fragments of her essence. But now it's time for you to feel her pain. 
to feel the pain that all your victims suffered. Rot in hell, William Afton, alongside the shadows of your past. Yep, okay. One night, okay, I'm curious what this last night's gonna be about. Depending on the length of this video when I edit it, I'll have this last night either in this video or in a separate video, because I am guaranteeing there's two endings to do with the plushies. Oh god. 